Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a progressive neuromuscular degenerative disease that afflicts boys and young men. It's the most common disease of its kind. The patients often are rendered wheelchair dependent in their early teens and generally uh, pass away in their 20s or early 30s. Duchenne muscular dystrophy, unfortunately, is a progressive disease. So the muscle function gets worse over time. The heart function gets worse over time. A lot of the heart actually turns from living heart muscle into scar. And the heart failure ends up often being the cause of death, along with the weakness in the muscles themselves. The journey of discovery began back in 2003 when we became interested in stem cell therapy for heart disease. We came up with a recipe to isolate a particular kind of heart progenitor cell from the adult human heart. And we had the idea that if we retransplanted this into patients with heart disease, we might be able to regrow healthy heart muscle and reverse the process. What we learned over time is that the effects were not limited by any way to the heart itself. We also saw benefits on kidney function and muscle function. This is the first ever treatment for Duchenne muscular dystrophy that has actually caused a sustained improvement in heart function and that has delayed the loss of upper limb function in advanced Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So this benefit is above and beyond anything that's already approved for the disease and really kind of is a breath of fresh air for what is otherwise a hopeless condition. We've gone from a very invasive kind of paradigm which involved cardiac catheterization in a hospitalization with a tube put into the heart to deliver the cells now you can just go to a doctor's office or an infusion center once every three months, get plugged into an intravenous line, and then go home afterwards. So this is definitely a game changer for the advanced Duchenne muscular dystrophy population. Now there's something that could, in principle, halt the deterioration of heart function, which is so often now the cause of death, and preserve hopefully to a meaningful degree, upper limb function. Why is upper limb function important? It could mean the difference between being able to hug your mom, to feed yourself, to operate a joystick, to interact with the world with a mouse. So it may not sound like much, but believe me, for these patients and their families, this is a genuine breakthrough.